Good morning, options traders. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you a relatively simple way to generate consistent monthly income with options. But first, I would like to thank my Patreon members for supporting my educational programs. If you're new to options trading and would like to get some private coaching, please visit my website for details. In front of us is the one year daily chart for Kellogg, ticker symbol K. This is a chart from tdameritrade.com. Normally, when I'm trading options, I prefer to use a chart at Thinkorswim. But right now, Thinkorswim is not working, so I'm using TD Ameritrade. On October 13, 2021, Kellogg was in the oversold region of the slow stochastics. That is the ideal time to place a semi-bullish trade because we are betting that the underlying stock is going to reverse and go back up. On October 13, 2021, Kellogg was trading at around $61. We can see from the chart that the stock had been dropping just about every day since September 30th. Because the overall trend of Kellogg was still rising, I felt pretty comfortable placing a semi-bullish trade. What I saw on October 13 are these triple bottoms right here on August 5, September 7, and now we are at the third bottom. So I'm betting that this is going to be the support line over the next 65 days. When I'm selling put options, I'm basically betting that the stock is going to stay above a certain price by a certain date. So with the stock trading at around $61, I'm betting that over the next 65 days, Kellogg is going to stay above $57.50, which is right here at this point. So you can see from the chart that 57.50 is quite a ways down from $61. So I'm going to use $57.50 as the strike price of the put option that I'm going to sell. When I sold my put option, I received a credit of $0.85 cents per contract. Each contract controls 100 shares of the underlying stock. I sold two puts, so I received $170 up front. And why did I get paid $170? The reason is simple. When I'm selling put options, I'm taking on the risk of something called assignment. Let's pause the video for a few seconds and review what assignment entails. We can see from the chart that after I sold my put option, Kellogg went sideways for a few days and then started to rise. At the time that I placed the trade on October 13, I knew that Kellogg was reporting earnings on November 4th before the opening bell. So my goal was to close the trade by November 3rd and take my profits if possible. Usually when I'm selling put options, my goal is to close my trade when my profit is at least 50% of the maximum profit. Since my original credit was 85 cents per contract, my goal was to buy back my put when the price or the premium of my put option came down to about 40 cents. So I had put in a closing limit order at 40 cents and just waited. After 21 days of theta time decay and the stock price rising, the premium of my put option did indeed drop from 85 cents down to 40 cents. And so I was able to buy back my put option at my target price of 40 cents, close my trade, protect my profits, and remove the risk of assignment. My profit on the trade is simply the difference between the opening credit and the closing debit times two contracts times 100. That gives us $90 of profit. And I achieved that in 21 days. So selling put options on your favorite stocks and ETFs is a relatively simple way to generate consistent monthly income with options. Make sure you thoroughly understand the risk of assignment before trading with real money. The trades discussed in my videos are not recommendations. Thank you for watching.